In iOS 8, Apple is introducing a new family sharing feature, allowing each member of the family to have their own Apple account but still share uh, many things. So let's go over that now. So family sharing can be set up via your iCloud settings in the settings app. You can just tap on set up family sharing and it gives you some information about what exactly family sharing is. So according to Apple, it's the easy way to share what's important with family or with members of your family. Uh, so as you can see, you can share purchased music, movies, books, and eligible applications. You can share photos and videos in a family photo stream, share your location with family members, schedule events on the family calendar, and help family members find their missing devices. So it's uh, integrating all these apps into this family sharing feature. You can uh, opt to learn more about family sharing, uh, which brings you to uh, Apple's website. So basically, in order to set it up, just uh, hit the Get Started text and start adding members of your family. Uh, now, every member has to be on the same credit card, so that's how they uh, make sure that you're adding people that are not just your friends or something. Uh, you'll all be on a shared credit card, uh, so you probably don't want to add your friends to your shared credit card. So that's Apple's way of just making sure that you're using it for your family members. Uh, well, this is really nice for families um, because I, I, I know uh, myself and I've seen other families just use one Apple ID so that they can already do some of these things. Uh, but now each person can have their own separate Apple ID, which kind of makes things easier when it comes to email and messaging. Uh, but they can still take advantage of some of these uh, features like sharing their purchased uh, items and uh, scheduling events on one calendar.